Level by Level Gaming, and this is going to be another PAP K3 Plus video. This is going to be me putting a copy of Nick Harper's version 17 customized menu from this SD card onto this brand new PAP. I'm not going to do a whole lot of touching on it because this is actually going to be somebody else's device. I'm going to be giving this away at one of our local Comic Cons. Um, so anyways, this is the device that I'm going to use as a demonstration on how to put this card in and load up Nick's menu. So if you like that kind of thing, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, we're going to take this right here and let's see if I can do this single handed. Um, uh, I apologize. I don't have my setup that I've had in the past for doing this. Let's see here. Alright. Not that way, but I'm going to do this off camera. Nope. Come on. There we go. That felt right. Okay. Click it in there. Alright. So that was a little bit off of camera, but I um, had to do what I had to do. The card is in there. We are going to fire this thing up. Work with me. There we go. And I think the battery's dead. Not to worry, I do have another battery. Give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. A battery that I had is now in the device. Um, you can't see the level because it's covered up by this little tab that you'd pull off to reveal the fresh new screen there. Um, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go down Go over to this file reader, enter into that, go down, let's see, previous directory, SD card, enter into that, go down to D menu. And let's see, installer. So now we're going to go and install, install DGE, open. There we go. Now, Nick's menu is loaded on here. Um, Nick's really did a great job building on the layers that have been laid out and Dingunini, so if you haven't been to Dingunini, um, dot, I believe it's dot org, you can Google search um, PAP K3 plus Dingunity and you can find your way, way there. I'm also going to put a link in the description below. I might not be able to do that as soon as this video is uploaded because I'm using my phone and uh, we don't have internet at our home right now. Uh, the neighbors cut our internet cable putting in some concrete into their driveway and if you're like me that's like one of your worst nightmares so we are living in the dark ages right now um, but that being said as soon as I get the a better opportunity a better ability to uh, post that in the description I will so you'll get a link to this but if you watch this video before I do that, just go to dingunity.org and you can find his menu there, um, Nick Harper. Also, you can Google on YouTube, you can Google Nick Harper PAP and you can find his videos that way too. But um, on here, he's got best emulators, more emulators, backup emulators, and I'm just gonna do a quick tour of this best emulators here arcade um, let's see here 
1942 and he has also added a lot of box art to these files which is really really nice and it is much appreciated um, I mean I think he has over a thousand images that line up so let's say we're going to go let's just do one of the 1940s here let's do 1944 Oop, wrong one let's go down to 19 let's just do 1942 that's good enough ah. <laughs> that's one I'm gonna have to take over there so not 1942 Let's go with 1944. Much better. There we go. All right. I think select is how you put your quarters in. Yep. Figure out which button sh shoots the guns. There we go. I figured it out now. All right. So with the arcade emulator, um, I'm not really sure if you're familiar with this menu and you know a better way. Um, I don't know an exit button, how to get out of that, other than just to reset the whole device. And um, let's just do a couple more of those. So he has the arcade. He has Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, uh, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, Atari Lynx, Sony PlayStation. He also has a copy of the Paradroid and Quake 2. Um, something that he did add that's new, which I'm really a fan of, is he does have the Sony PlayStation on here. Um, I don't have a ton of his games or games that are compatible with that. There's lists for that. I don't. I haven't got that far with his menu, um, but there is one of these that's free that comes with it, just to show that it does work. And there you go. And this is a homebrew game, so um, anyway, just giving you a quick show of that. All right, well, that's just a very, very quick show or tutorial on installing Nick Harper's version 17 menu and just some of the things that he's added to it. Uh, I definitely have plans on going in depth into this menu, doing some explanations of adding ROMs, where to put them on the file system, um, showing off some more of the emulators. But the video's already got up there. Uh, it's getting a little long, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like Nick Harper's menu, please uh, track down his YouTube channel, subscribe, and thank him for all the hard work that he's done on this. Catch you guys later.